Good morning. So today is Tuesday and I am going to Rock Hill to do makeup for a client. I am partnering up with a photographer and we are headed to um, Rock Hill. Um, the appointment is at 11 um, and I'm here in Columbia so it's really not that far of a drive. It might be maybe 40 minutes. Um, so I'm all packed up. I'm in my car. I had to stop at Walmart so I can get me a new SD card because I'm always running out of space. So um, hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of today and then we'll be rocking and rolling. So stay tuned. Your problems had to wake up, smell like coffee these days. I'm thinking Starbucks. I've never been to lane these things. It gets your car up if she fine. That's cool. That's exposes if you're hard up. Mind change once I had a daughter. You think you found the time. Time passes regardless. You think you found the corner. What up, what up, what up, though? So. I'm headed to the salon. Yesterday I didn't get to get any footage for you guys when I did makeup um, for a photo shoot. I worked with Charmaine Edwina Photography yesterday. So um, now I'm headed to the salon today to do another client that Charmaine will be shooting today. Um, and her appointment is at 10, it's 9.28 now. So I'm headed to the salon. And we're about to bust out another makeup look. Um, I'm gonna try to record. I'll have my camera, so it'll be easier for me to set up. Sometimes when I meet new people, you know, you don't want to invade their space by recording them. You know, you want them to feel comfortable. So I know this person, so we should be fine. Right, guys so I am starting on the client we're gonna do basically a natural base as far as foundation and highlight nothing too um, out there because she is in ministry so she will be taking pictures for that purpose but as you can see um, I did go with a maroon looking eyeshadow I did ask her beforehand if she likes something neutral or if she wants color and she did say that she wanted color but it's always best to check in with your client because their interpretation and your interpretation of what color looks like can be very different. So I'm just going back in to adjust the color. She also has on lashes and she's never worn lashes before. So she's filling out a whole lot um, as she's looking in the mirror continuously. So we just go back and adjust and the photographer is also going to take a picture to show her so that she can see what she looks like in the pictures that she'll be taking when they leave the studio. Um, so just stay tuned for the final look. And like I said before, just make sure you always check back in with your client to make sure they're comfortable. So what would a, you said a matte on top I'll just probably put like a brown on top. Yeah, just to turn it down just a little bit. I still want to add a Pop. I know that's contradictory. <laughs> like, turn it down and I want it to pop. Alright guys, so I wrapped up that client and you saw the finished makeup look. Um, now I'm doing a male facial, so I'm just going in doing a deep cleanse. I kind of wanted to show you guys on my first vlog just all the things that I do. Um, so right here I'm doing a male facial, doing a deep cleanse. I actually originally did this particular um, video for a promo 
um, to get more male clients. And this is my male model. Um, he is here in the Columbia area and he has a successful business. So I pulled him to come in to get a facial and he enjoyed it. So now, this is actually a teacher that works at my school. I'm also a school teacher, I teach pre-K. Um, and this is one of the um, teachers that works in the other pre-K class. She came to get her hair done and I offered to do her makeup um, because she doesn't wear makeup. And I just felt like jazzing her up since she hadn't had her hair done in a while. And this was right before Christmas break. So I thought this would be something perfect to do for her. So I'm just filling in her brows. I'm just going to give her a balanced out look. I'm not going to do anything extreme. Just a nice natural look. And I believe um, I'm using my black opal foundation that I depotted. So I'm just going in, adding some foundation, using foundation as concealer, um, as well as my contour and the base. So. You'll see the finished look in a little bit. So this is her before and after. And this is the finished look and finally um, I decided to do a lot more vending events this year and going into 2018 um, and here you see me talking to this guy um, we're cracking up because actually he is a male esthetician so we were talking about the school that we both went to which was Kenneth Schuler for the aesthetics program I had my table set up this was more like an info table getting contact information such as email um, and this event was called the Block Party. And um, there's a fitness guru here in Columbia, South Carolina. His name is James Patrick. So he had a block party, which was about fitness. It was a really fun event, really cool. A lot of people came out um, and he had different instructors. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this first vlog. Um, hopefully if you have any questions, um, you can comment in the description box below. And thank you guys for tuning in and catching the next vlog.